What's up everyone, my name is Soren Iverson. I'm a product designer at Cash App. Today, I'm going to show you how to design card components based on Google's material design guidelines. We'll be making a few different types of cards. The first one will be a smaller card with calls to action and a small image. The second will be a large image with the description, but also a title and a small image above it. And the third will be a large image, a title, reviews, and additional text and buttons at the bottom. If you're not familiar with card components, I recommend looking at Google's material design website where you can play with interactive interactive demos, you can learn about the principles and usage of them, anatomy, behavior, actions, and so much more. A quick overview, cards are surfaces that display content and actions on a single topic. An example of this might be for a music app where you have the album artwork, song title, album, and then a potential optional action to rate that album. Another might be for a card for a restaurant, so you could look at the availability and book a reservation or contact the restaurant. And another might be a card that contains a slider so you can see the forecast based on the time. Let's start by designing this smallest card. First, I'm going to add a title, make this 22 pixels pixels and then have a line height of 30 pixels. Add secondary text here. We'll make this 14 pixels, 20 pixels high. 2% letter spacing. We'll change this to regular weight. I'm going to make this a slightly lighter gray color. We'll make these be 8 pixels away from each other. And then I'm going to go into my assets and grab the buttons that I created in a previous video. I'm going to make this a tertiary button. I'm going to have this say action 1. Let me set this to hug content. I'll set this to action 2. Apply auto the layout to these so will be eight pixels away from each other and then finally i'm going to create this image so let's have this be 80 pixels i'm going to add two pixels of rounding here so first i'm going to select these apply auto layout and then i'll select this image over here apply auto layout to that as well and then i'll grab this on the bottom and apply auto layout there and now what i'm going to do is add my padding around these elements add 16 pixels on either side 16 pixels from top and bottom let's add a fill here make this white and have Say six pixels of space on this card. I'm going to add a slight drop shadow. So this be one, two, and we'll add another shadow to two, four, eight. We'll have one more that is four, eight, six. Should be enough of a shadow to start out. Let's make sure that there's 16 pixels here. Let's have both of these text containers fill the container. Now let's change this so that there's only eight pixels of spacing between the buttons in this image. And then let's actually make it so that there's only eight pixels on the bottom rather than 16. Like this, switch this to eight. Now we have our card. Let's actually fill this with some information so it feels a little bit more real. Now that I have some actual content here, I'm going to call this card. So I'm going to take this and then I'm going to make another version of this where there's no button. So let's remove these and then we'll change this spacing back to 16. And then select both of these and say create component set. We'll call this small card. We'll change this property to button and we'll have the default be true. But we'll have there be another version where where it's false. And now if I take this over here, oh, it's off and on, it'll hide or show the buttons. Another thing I wanna do is be able to show or hide the image. So let's take this expand this over here. First thing I'll do is select the image in both of these and delete it. I want to make sure that it's the same width. This is 346 and this is only 250. What I'm going to do is make sure that the inside container is the same size. So let's take this and switch it to be 314 pixels wide. And we'll also take this and make it 314 pixels wide. And we're going to this by 162. And then I'm going to add another property here and we'll have this be a variant. We'll have this say image and the default will be true property. Then what I'm going to do is go here. I'm going to go to false. Also make sure that this is button true. This is button false. Now I have a really simple card that I can easily add a button to, an image to, or if I just want a button, I can do that. Or if I just want an image, I can do that as well. Now that we've got our small card designed, let's move on to our medium sized card. I'm going to detach this instance and I am going to create a rectangle here that is 344 by 194. I am going to that. I'll apply auto layout, no horizontal spacing. And then I'm going to take the buttons that I had from this other version add those below here. I'm going to take the secondary text that I have here. I'll also add that below. And then I'm going to apply auto layout to these two things and make sure there is 16 pixels of horizontal spacing and then 24 pixels of spacing between the el these elements. And then I'm going to make sure that this matches the width of that. I'm going to set this to fill the container. I'm going to make this fill white. And then I need to add the title and secondary text up above as well. So what I'm going to do is take this. I'm going to push this up here. This title feels a little big 
right now. So I'm gonna bring this down to 18 pixels and this down to 24. That secondary text feels a little bit far away. So I'm gonna change this to four pixels. I'm gonna add that little profile image that we have here. And then I'm gonna apply auto light again. Let's make the spacing between elements 12 pixels. We'll make that horizontal. We're gonna have 16 pixels of horizontal padding, none of vertical. And then we'll do two pixels of vertical spacing. And then I'm going to make this same rounding and shadow of the other versions. I'm actually gonna create a style out of this shadow. We'll call it shadow, create that style. Go over here, go to effects, hard shadow, I'll add six pixels here. And then I'm gonna make this horizontally centered like that. And I'm going to reduce the spacing here to zero. Last thing we need to do is make sure that this fills the container and that the text layers inside of it also fill the container. So we've done that now. I'm gonna make this card a preview for a upcoming concert. So I'll let's add an image here and I'll add a brief description. I'm also gonna add four pixels of spacing here so that there's a little more breathing space between the image and this text. Let's call this card and I'm gonna duplicate this to make a version without the button. So let's remove these buttons and then I'm going to add four pixels of spacing on the bottom there. Let's take these, let's call this event card and that first property will be button. The default value will be true. Then we'll also add a false value. And then this and toggle that on and off. Let's make a few more versions of this. So I am going to extend this here. I'm going to duplicate these, move them over to the side a bit, and then I am going to make an option where there's no description. So let's delete that description and then let's remove the pixel the spacing on the bottom. And we'll also have a version here, no description. So let's take these. This is button false button true. We're going to create another property here. Description, default that to true. Create the property. Select both of these though and say that the description is false. And so now if I take this, it's very easy for me to toggle off the buttons, toggle off the description, or toggle off both. I want to make one more version of this where there's actually no image. So let's duplicate this component here. I'm going to delete the image from that and then I'm going to increase the spacing here. And then I'm going to take this. I'm going to make a few more versions. First I am going to have one where there's no button buttons. And then I'm also going to have one where there is no button and no description. That. And so now I have all of my components. I'm going to select this and I'm going to add one more variant. It's going to be called image. And for all of these, it will be true. And for all of these, it will be false. For this, there's no description. So that's false. And there's also no button, so That's false. For this, there's no button. It's true that there's a description, there's no image. This has all of those. So it looks like everything here should be good to go. One thing you'll notice here is that this isn't cutting off this image corner. So what I'm gonna do is click on this and go to clip content. Now if I zoom back out, I actually need to make one more version of this where there's just the buttons and the title. Delete that. And then I'm going to say description, false, image false, but button true. Now that I've got this all set, I'm gonna take this card component, move it over here. Now it's really easy for me to toggle on or off any of these individual components. Okay, so now I have, I'm gonna call this actually soft card. I'm going to call this event card and then I'm going to switch away from the music theme and kind of make this review card over here. Let's grab the specs. So I'm going to take this card since it has a lot of the same things. I'm going to detach this instance. Let's move this information down here. We're not going to have any spacing on the top. So I'll remove that. Got the image. Got the title. I'm going to swap that out here. I'm going to call this Folks Pizza, a really good local pizza restaurant. I'm going to change this to say 4.5. I'm gonna bump this down to 12 pixels with pixels of spacing. Now I'm going to create a star. Let's make this 12 by 12. And I'm just gonna pull that yellow from the design, from the sample. Click over here. I'm going to duplicate this four times, reducing the spacing between them to four pixels. A, and then I'm gonna group this one here. And I'm going to change this to be a 0.5 pixel stroke. And then I'm gonna duplicate this, have it be filled. Let's delete this. Now I'm gonna use the pen tool to connect these and then fill that like so. Now that I have that, I'm gonna add that up here. Auto layout, make it horizontal. And then let's actually make this a little bit tighter. So we'll do two pixels. And then let's horizontally center that. Let's add six pixels of spacing here. And we'll have this fill the container. Same with this text. All right, now I need to go get an image of that pizza restaurant. This one here looks good. Grab that, copy that, paste it here. Add another piece of text here. That will be our secondary text. Let's make this medium. We'll have that be black as opposed to that gray. For that, let's change this to go to website. And then I'm gonna duplicate this here. Reservations. 
tonight. And then I'm going to add a divider line here. So let's make this one pixel high, black that's really low opacity. And then I'm going to paste that between these two things. Then I'm gonna set this to fill container. And then I am actually going to reduce this from 24 to 16. And then I'm gonna duplicate this, put it in here. I'm gonna have this say 5.30 p.m. Change this from semi-bold to regular. We'll make it the gray in this sign. Make that background the same color. Then make this button the same color. Then let's increase the rounding here. And then we'll change this to 16 pixels of horizontal padding. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this button and duplicate it two times, two times. We'll just clip the content here, change that to six. So then you've got the corners rounded here and these cut off. Let us say eight o'clock PM, 8.30 PM, and 9.30 PM, making the gap intentionally large here because this place is actually usually pretty busy and reservations fill up. Let's take this primary purple. Then I'm gonna make this button that purple, but low opacity. So this is the one we currently selected. And that is our event card. It took me a while to name and organize the 16 different dependencies that I had for this reservation card. So I went ahead and cut that out. But if you look here, I can easily toggle things off like image, description, buttons, reviews, or any combination of them. If you wanted to, you could also remove things like reservations and use this for a different type of content that wasn't related to a restaurant. I'm going to include a link to this Figma file in the description. So if you want to poke around with this on your own time, you can. And that's it. You now have a song card, an event card, and a reservation card that you can use for a wide variety of different use cases. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you now have a better understanding of how card components work and how you can use them in a wide variety of different use cases according to the needs of any app or website that you might be building. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Soren, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.